People get shot every day, so it's just like, it's just normal. It's just be useless. In John Calhoun's neighborhood, burning candles cluster in a makeshift shrine to Plainfield's latest murder victim, shot on West 4th Street this month. Yellow police tape still dangles from a fence down the block, scene of another homicide earlier this year. Calhoun says Plainfield's changed. Like from the gangs, like now there's gangs in Plainfield. That changed it a lot. Plainfield's a small city, just 50,000 people. It logged four homicides in 2014, only three last year. But this year, the homicide rates more than triple to 10, half of them within a mile of each other. Who's doing the shooting, we asked a resident who feared to show her face. No, I'm just saying in general, out here, Plainfield only but so big. Yeah, you got family killing family. They're in the street, and then now it got to a point that they can't even play in front of their houses. Plainfield Pastor Wendell Wheeler joined with an anti-violence coalition today that prepared a five-point proposed plan of action. It's not just about government. It's not just about police. It's about community collaborating together to try to stop or curb this continuing plague of gun violence in the city. The group presented their plan to the city, stressing weekly community meetings, an anti-gun campaign, street corner outreach teams, and mostly services for at-risk youth and families. We weren't allowed in. You can come, but no cameras allowed in. Earlier, the city administrator and public safety director declined to go on camera, but they did say they're meeting with residents and working to address the crisis. My heart goes out to the families, at a recent town hall meeting, Mayor Adrian Mapp tried to calm residents. Plainfield is a very safe city. These incidents that have occurred are incidents that occurred as a result of drugs, guns, and gangs. And people that are intent on destroying each other, they will do that. The Union County Prosecutor's Office is working to solve the homicides, noting one common thread that ties many of them together is a lack of cooperation and information coming from potential witnesses in the community. The no-snitch code of the street remains strong here. They lean towards the streets. They ain't got nowhere else to go. The city said it will examine the coalition's proposal and schedule a meeting. In Plainfield, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.